What is up guys, David Maximicic here. Today I'm going to show you how you can make your snare drum come to life. I guess a quick disclaimer before we start. I will be using a superior drummer tree for this tutorial. Now there's two reasons why. That's three, two reasons why. First reason, guys from ToonTrack a few months ago, actually many months ago, they sent me their entire collection of easy keys and they sound good, not really tweakable, but I guess their main selling feature was the songwriting tool thing, the chord progression builder or whatever, which I'm just, I don't really find use in that. So I never really got to do a tutorial or like a promotional video review. So just recently I bought, I paid for, you know, Superior Drummer 3.0. I have some really nice things to say about it. I guess this and, you know, some tutorials in the future where, where I will be using Superior Drummer will kind of be like, a, I guess, a thank you to ToonTrack for supporting me with their um, softwares. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much the reason. And the second thing is just, why the f*** not? So let's do it. So we are basically going to turn a snare that sounds like this. Into something that sounds like this. That's a pretty massive difference, if you ask me. I'll show you how actually easy it is to go from that to what you've just heard. So let's just dive into it, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's working now. Okay. So what I would usually like to do is I like to imagine like four, three, four, maybe five plugins that I like to put on something. And then I instantly put them on and I try to achieve the best sound possible with those three, four or five plugins. So I did exactly that here. So we have Fab Filter Saturn, we have EQ, we have compressor, and we have another compressor. And I usually like to start with uh, adding just a little bit of saturation to my recording. I guess we can stick to warm tape or maybe warm tube. Warm tape in this particular um, case would be nice. So let's let's listen to let's listen to snare only. Around 70% is kind of pushing it, but then still, you know, we need to feel a little bit of character coming from the Saturn. I like the character the Saturn brings to the sound. So let's hear without. And then with. It's a little bit louder, um, I gotta say, but it also brings up some 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 really nice character from the snare. Um, the next thing in my chain is EQ, but I'll leave that for later. I'm gonna do a little bit of compression first. If I do some crazy EQ moves, putting compressor afterwards would just enhance some things, and you know it will just make things weird so let's try and put a little bit of compression on um maybe 
a lot of compression on. We'll see. I would say that's enough for now because I'm going to do a little bit of EQing now. What I'm thinking, maybe boost a little bit of 150-ish, so let's see. Uh, we can add some some things in the top okay so we've added some bottom end and some high end i think we can get rid of some ringing fre frequencies some ringing freak freak fucking. some ringing frequencies um so this is our eq curve butcher thingy it used to be like this and now it's this that already sounds more you know more fat more usable more a little bit more exciting i would say and then at the end we'll do another compressor and just push the whole thing push the snare a little bit more I think I think that's good. So let's listen to drums with the snare mixed in a way. Okay, so way 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 more exciting. Of course, louder, but still way more exciting. Now comes the part where we make the snare come to life and that's adding reverb. Of course, I'm a huge fan of big sounding drums, huge snare, spaces, everything. So I'm going to show you a trick that I'm using currently. I used to approach things a little bit differently. I used to do like a send FX with a reverb plate or room. Um, and then send my snare drum through that send effect. But nowadays I'm approaching reverb on snare a little bit differently. And I started doing this by accident. I know some people who don't even use bottom snare mic. And if it's not recorded properly, I guess it can sound like a trash bag. But fortunately, guys from Superior Drummer, from Track, they know what they're doing and the bottom snare mic sounds really nice and it's really really usable i'm a self-taught producer and i don't know if things are right are right or wrong and i honestly most of the time don't really care as long as the results are there but for some reason i i was i was wondering if it, this technique makes any sense so i searched online and i i found out that many good producers some famous producers are using this technique on snare um and i'm gonna show you how it works
Okay, so our dumping, it's kind of like a high cut in a way. Um, reverb time, I like to keep around between 0 0.50 and one and a half second, depending on the space that I'm using, but it seems to work pretty well around 0 0.80. And then for the mix, amount of reverb, the mix of the reverb, um, there's a trick that I learned when I was really young. But before I jump into it, I'm going to do a little bit of EQing on this bottom snare mic, the reverb mic, call it whatever now. When it comes to amount of reverb, um, or reverb mix, if you will, what I learned when I was young, I was pretty young, I was working on a project, and I don't remember who told me this, but when you want to dial in the amount of reverb, you should listen to the entire mix. And then you start, you know, putting in the reverb. And once you start hearing it in the mix, that's the time when you have to stop and decide, should you stay there? Stay there? Should you put it down a little bit? Is it too much? Or do you want to push it a little bit more? But it's really important to stop at the point when you start hearing it. I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna use my head my headphones because it's much easier to hear spaces with headphones, at least for me. Um, these are not the best best headphones for mixing, but they work. Uh, that's the spot. I feel like pushing it a little bit further, honestly. I think that's pretty nice. I think that's the right amount and I'm actually pretty happy with the result when you hear on the speakers. That to me is a snare coming to life, honestly. Now, of course, everything that I'm showing you right here is not something it's not you can't really just use the, the exactly the same settings and expect to get the same results it's probably not going to work in your mix with exactly the same settings every snare is going to behave differently depending on uh, how you treat it so that to me is way 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 more exciting uh, so let's hear our let's just quickly let's our, let's hear our snare without any processing on it no reverb no EQing, no compression. And then with all the processing. And that happens in only like, what, five steps? So a little bit of saturation, some EQing, a little bit of compression, a little bit more push of compression, and then some reverb, and that's that's all you need. So yeah, I guess I guess that's it for this tutorial, guys. Um, thanks a lot for watching. Before I finish the video, I want to tell you that I'm going to launch my Patreon account in a few days. I'm really excited about it. There will be more tutorials such as this one and uh, there will be monthly Q&A's and some live streams. There will also be like a podcast slash update type of thing happening every month where I'll update you guys on what's been going on, what are the plans and the things that I've learned, some interesting bands that I've discovered maybe, anything that comes to mind. And I hope that some of you guys will be a part of it. 
I'll let you know in a few days when my Patreon is up. You will be able to go visit it and if you find some value in it, I really hope that you will support me in that. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, ask me some questions if you have any in the comments below, I'll be there. And suggest uh, what, what topics should I cover in one of my next videos. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, take care. Hey guys, David Maxim meets Joe. What is up guys? Today What is up guys? David Maximitich here. Today I'm going What is up guys? David Maximitich here. And today I'm going to show you how you can make your bass drum bass drum but that's normal. What is up guys? David Maximitich here. Today I'm going to show you how you can make your snare drum What is up guys, David Maximitich here. Today I'm going to show you how you can make your snare drum come to life.